Hi, it's Angela from the blog, Angela Marie Maid. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today to share how to build our DIY double barn doors. A few years ago, Brandon and I built custom barn doors for our DIY entertainment center, which is behind me. I already have a tutorial on my blog for these barn doors, which is linked below in the description box, but I've had several requests for a video tutorial, so that's what I'm sharing today. Also, just to note, for the actual DIY Entertainment Center unit, I used Build Plans by Shanty to Chic, which I modified for a smaller size, and I used half inch thick plywood instead of three quarter inch plywood. I will link their awesome build plans below this video. Okay, let's get started on how to build our custom double barn doors. For lumber, you're going to need one by fours, one by sixes, one by twos, and real shiplap boards, which are a half inch thick. Again, you can get a full cut list, material list, and tutorial on my blog, which is linked below this video. The first step is to make the lumber cuts for the frame of the barn door with a miter saw from the 1x4s, 1x6, and 1x2s. Step two is to assemble the barn door face frame. Use a Craig jig and add two pocket holes to each side of the three one by six boards. Then attach the three one by six boards in between the two one by four boards at the top, middle, and bottom using one and a quarter inch Craig screws. Next, attach the 1x2 boards on the back side of the frame, starting with the longer end pieces, flush with the edges. Then add the two shorter 1x2 boards on the top and bottom 1x6 boards to frame out the door. Attach with some wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails and a brad nailer. Now it's time to add the shiplap boards. Determine where the barn door handle is going to be located on the door as you want the shiplap boards to be coming at an angle out of the handle corner. I used some blue tape to represent where my door handle was going to be. Line up the end of one of the shiplap boards, making sure that it's face down from the corner where the barn door handle will be to the opposite corner as shown here. You want the shiplap board angle to be coming out from where the door handle is going to be. So that's why it's being lined up with these two corners. Then mark with a pencil the angle where the board needs to be cut so it fits over the barn door face frame opening. Make sure to allow for a one to two inch overhang of the board over the opening as the board ends will be nailed down to the face frame of the barn door. Make sure to mark the lines on both sides of the board for the opening. Also, I used clamps to just hold my shiplap board in place while I was marking the angles. Next, use a jigsaw or a Dremel tool to cut the boards to size. Most of these angles are too steep to cut on the miter saw, so a jigsaw or a Dremel works great. Lay the cut shiplap board in place to ensure that it fits correctly. 
Then repeat the same steps with marking the angles for the next shiplap board. Make sure that the tongue and groove edges are lined up correctly with the two boards next to each other. And also make sure to lay the shiplap board face down again so the back of it is facing up. We marked a B on the back of the boards to help with this part. This is really important to make sure that the shiplap gaps that are on the front line up correctly. Continue this process until the shiplap boards have finished the first face frame opening of the barn door. Also, at this point, don't nail any of the boards in place yet. The next step is to install the shiplap boards to the barn door frame with the brad nailer. Before doing that though, I moved our barn door off of our workbench a little bit and checked underneath to see what the shiplap boards were going to look like from the front just to make sure everything lined up correctly and my gaps for the shiplap boards were all even and looked good. Once everything looks good, use one inch brad nails and a brad nailer to secure the shiplap boards to the barn door frame by nailing along the edges of them. Repeat all of the above steps again for the second barn door frame opening, except all of the angles are going to be going the opposite direction coming from the barn door handle corner. Okay, now it's time to do the opposite door and you're going to just repeat all of these steps again except the angles are going to be going out the opposite way as the left door. Once you're all finished, flip your doors over and check out those awesome shiplap board angles. Here's a look at my two barn doors after constructing them and before I primed and painted them originally. Just a quick tip, if you're going to use these barn doors on a wall or somewhere where the back of the doors will be visible, you can hide the angle cuts of the shiplap boards with a quarter inch sheet of plywood cut to size to fit on the back of the door between the one by two frame. You would just install the quarter inch plywood with a brad nail and some brad nailers. And because the shiplap boards are a half inch thick and the quarter inch plywood with that makes it three quarter inches thick, which equals the thickness of the one by two frame. So it'll be one level surface on the back. The last step is to prime and paint the doors. My shiplap boards were already pre-primed, so I only had to prime the raw wood on the doors. Then I painted them with two coats of Oyster Bay by Sherwin-Williams in an eggshell finish. I'm totally in love with this paint color. I think it's so beautiful. Finally, the last step is to install your barn door handles and your double sliding barn door hardware. I will link below this video where I found my hardware and my handles. One thing to note is that because the barn doors aren't attached to a floor track, they will lean in at the bottom when they're hanging from the barn door hardware. To fix this problem and to help them slide easily, I attach two small blocks of wood with a one by two cut to one inches wide, wrapped with some felt at the bottom of each door. I used a staple gun to secure the felt on the blocks and a brad nailer to then attach it to the doors. It slides really smoothly and this method has worked great and held up really well over the past few years. And that's the last step, you're all finished. I absolutely love how our DIY double barn doors turned out. They are one of my favorite builds ever. Let me know if you have any questions or what you think in the comments below this video. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more fun DIY and decor videos.